folks, welcome back again. So we have to talk about closing the pool, unfortunately, right? It starts getting colder at night, kids are going back to school. So let's talk about your closing chemicals. Remember there's chlorine systems, there's non-chlorine systems, there's low chlorine systems. So let's start off with chlorine systems. The easiest thing to do, whether you're using liquid chlorine or granular or even tablets, is to use one of the closing kits that we offer. So there's everything included in here that you need for closing for up to 20,000 gallons. Comes with two bags of a chlorinated granular shock. There's also a granular algicide and a metal removing stain preventing agent in there as well. Sounds like a lot, but it's pretty easy. So you're just gonna broadcast that over the water, let it circulate for 24 hours, drain it down, shut it down, really, really easy. Short of using this, you can also use one bag of turbo shock for 10,000 gallons here. You can use one gallon of liquid chlorine for 10,000 gallons, and then add a winterizing algicide to it separately. If for some reason you wanted to choose the closing kit that we offer, but your pool is more than 10,000 gallons, then just use the kit and add another bag of shock to it as well. Uh, if you are using the tablets in your pool, so one of the things I'm going to suggest for you is try to use them up, right? Not necessarily the whole bucket, but use up what's in the pool. If you've got stuff going in a chlorinator right now, let that pool keep circulating. If for some reason you do still have some tablets left over, then very carefully you're going to want to take those tablets out, whether it's in the skimmer, whether it's in the floater, whether it's in the chlorinator, and then let them dry for a couple of days. They're very, very toxic, so be careful. Wear a pair of gloves when you handle them. And then you want to triple wrap them in plastic and then store them someplace in a well-ventilated area. If you have tablets left over from the season in one of your buckets, then just make sure they don't get wet and they're good for next year too. Easy with those. Low chlorine system, some of you guys are using the frog system, which is the low chlorine system. Same thing with your tablets, although you're not going to take them out of the dispenser that they come in, but take your dispenser out if there's still some left and let it sit for a day or two. Make sure it's nice and dry. Again, triple wrap it, um, put it someplace that's really well ventilated, and then you can use those dried up tablets again next season as well. Your mineral pack you're not going to need anymore, so you can just discard that. If you're lucky enough to have been on Easy Pool, and I love Easy Pool, Easy Pool is very easy for closing as well. You know that you always have to have a very good uh, high calcium reading, so make sure your calcium is where it's supposed to be, 400 parts per million mil minimum. Uh, make sure your alkalinity is in check. And then all you're going to do with Easy Pool is add a, um, a recommended number of scoops. And again, that's going to go by the gallons in your pool. Um, there's a chart on the back that tells you for closing how much you have to add. But again, it's just adding the scoops just like you do every week. So you're not adding anything else, no more algicides, no more chlorine, any of that. Just your easy pool. And for you Bacquasil folks, again, this is pretty easy. Remember, it's a three-part system. So you always want to top off your sanitizer. 30 to 50 parts per million is what we look for during the season. For closing, we want you to be up in that 50 parts per million range. So test it with your strips or bring us a sample. Let's see what's going on with that. Then for your oxidizer or your shock, your number two, you want to add one gallon of your oxidizer per 10,000 gallons. And then for step three, whether you're on the algicide system, if you're on the algicide step system, um, you're going to do five ounces of algicide per 10,000 gallons. And if you're on the CDX for your step three, then you're going to add one pint of CDX through the skimmer per 10,000 gallons. Okay? That's it for the chemical part of closing. Remember, you can order all these things by giving us a call at 392-7711. We're happy to help you curbside if you don't want to come into the store. Or you can go to shop.pettispools.com and find our chemicals there as well. Okay? I'm going to take you outside in a few minutes. We're going to go look at a pool that's already covered up. might help answer some of your questions on what you need to do. All right. I'll see you soon.